so I am in Chicago wow it is so cool to be here and it's really warm I was expecting it to be super cold I have on so many layers and I also have on well I brought my scarf with me just in case because I just wanted to make sure that I'm prepared but it is really warm so my plan for today is to go to a fabric store it is three right. levels and I've never left. been there before so I'm excited to see what this place has to offer and I'm not even sure if I'm going to get anything but I just want to go and see what it has because it's like I've never been to a fabric store that had like so many levels so I'm just intrigued and I just want to check it out and take you with me of course now what I am doing is, on your left. is going to Target Joliet because I actually left my card not my card my cord where you charge your phone in I left it in the hotel room and I actually need to plug in my phone because I'm going to be out and about and I don't want to be out here and not have a way to have my phone charged up so that I can figure out where I'm going. So I will check back in with you guys shortly. So I got my cord. I ended up buying a cube too because I needed one of those also. I needed that mostly for at home. But I'm going to plug in this cord. And you know what else while I was in there? I realized that I needed something for my lips. And I saw this Vaseline that I'd never seen before. So I thought I would pick it up. But I want to show it to you. Oh, this is so hard to open. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me show you this Vaseline real quick. Now I can open this later. But look, it says Vaseline Lip Tin lip therapy pink bubbly so i was like oh that's interesting so i'm going to show this to you and see we're going to open this together and see what this is all about i hope it's uh oh man it's got another seal on it i don't have anything to open oh wait okay it's not that bad okay cool the uh the other box was so bad or hard to open i thought it would be better if i had some scissors but i don't okay so look let me see okay it's just a light pink i always smell my stuff it smells like roses let me see oh you can't tell i thought it was gonna have like a pink tint to it but no i don't see any color coming off on this pink bubbly okay i like it Okay, so I have arrived. I am at the textile discount outlet store and I'm here early. It opens at 11 and I'm here about an hour early because I looked on Yelp and it said it opened at 1130. But when I got here, there was a sign on the door that said, nope, we open at 11. And the sign even said that it's by appointment only. So I called the number on there to try to make an appointment, but I couldn't. It just didn't. The phone number was, when I dialed it, it said, please enter your phone number and a pin, PIN code. And I was like, huh? So anyway, I hung up. I didn't make an appointment. And then I read some of the reviews on Yelp. And it did say that although it does say you need to make an appointment, if you stand in line, they will let you come in to shop. So I'm just hoping that I will be able to go in. But while I'm here, I want to show you the outside of the building and I'll show you where you can park. I'm parked along the street right in front of the store, but there is additional parking here on the side. So I'm going to get out and share that with you so that if you come here, you will know where you can park. All right, let's do this.
bit too hot and it's really unseasonably warm today which is perfect and i'm actually wearing my mila dungarees by tilly and the buttons i love this pattern i've made it twice okay so i am close to the parking area so let me show you All right, so I'm going to sit back in the car and I'm going to wait for this store to open and hopefully I can get in and show you around. no idea where to begin look at all of this stuff oh my goodness Goodness, look at all of this stuff. There's stuff everywhere. Look at these zippers. Tons of zippers. Oh my goodness, here's all this fabric over here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Knit, this is some knit. I need to put my phone up somewhere. Look at all this fancy fabric. Look at this. Wow. Stretch. Oh, this is pretty. This is like some type of satin, it says. Stretch satin? Huh. That's pretty. Wow. This place is huge. I see a sign over there that says downstairs. So there's more fabric there. Yeah, it's too much problem. This looks like kind of home decor, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. This is like Steven Yeah. So like silky satin crepe. I wish this was gray in here. Okay, now let's go to this other room that I saw that was back here around the corner. Let's see what they have. Okay. So many rooms. Okay. 
Yes. It says casual apparel fabrics. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at this. Afro prints. Oh. Wow. So pretty. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, elastic. Look at this. Rolls and rolls of elastic. Different colors even. Okay, okay. Thank you. Nothing in these sale racks we will get from you. Not yet. For sure. Bandex, this is knit. Okay. all knit look at this kind of like stretch velvet crushed velvet okay what is this this is more knit oh look at this Please let me know we need a garbage pickup there on the phone. Oh, I love stripes. Look at that. Knit. They're only $2.95 a yard. That is not bad at all. Okay. Interlock. Two ninety five a yard. Lycra. Oh wow, look at all of this knit. There's so much to choose from. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. You can make like a nice, I don't know. Oh, it's kind of sheer, but that's cute. This would make like a really cute sweater of some type. I just wish it wasn't see-through and I don't really want to line it. That's cute. Sonia to the penny table. Sonia to the penny table. Look at this. This is cute. Ooh, I like this too. Oh, this is such a pretty color. 
I like this color. This looks just like the color fabric that I recently found at Savers. Pretty. Oh my goodness, a dollar ninety-five room assorted fabrics. There is just so much to see, and this is just all on the first floor. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so. I hope I'm not boring you all. I don't know how much of this you want to see because it's just so, so much. Oh, look at this interesting print. Oh, it feels really heavy though. Kind of like, um, I don't know. It'd probably make a cute coat. It's kind of thick. I don't know what it is. Wow, it's just so much. So, so much. Okay. Too much variety, yeah? Hmm? Too much variety. Yes, it's a lot. Yeah. A lot. Okay, draperies, I won't go in there. Okay, this room has trim. Oh wow, look at all this sequin trim. Wow, trim for days. And up there, there's even more, more fabric and things, so we'll go see. And they have a basement, so we will go down there also. this leather trim all of this stuff oh my goodness ribbon 10 cent a yard Roberto to the dock for garbage. Roberto to the dock for garbage. Come on, man. Oh, look at this. Hook and eye things. That's 
cute. This is a lace, a bunch of lace trim. More trim. Okay, this looks more like tablecloth fabric. Okay, home decor and things. Okay. So I'm gonna go upstairs now. So let's see what's upstairs. Okay, so I can go to the right or there's stuff to the left. Um, I will go to the right. Entering room two. Okay, let's do it. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is clothes or I should say, I don't know if this is apparel fabric or not. It doesn't really look like apparel fabric. I guess you could use it for apparel if you wanted to though, huh? Suedes, they look like faux suede. Okay. Get that. Oh, stripes. Oh wow, look at these bins of just bins and bins of just fabric. Wow, look at that. If I didn't mention it before, this is my first time here. So I'm seeing this for the first time just as you are. If you haven't been here before. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. This looks, okay, this is a curtain. Okay. Maybe that's a pair of fabric, I don't know. Look at that over there, those stripes. Ooh, I like this. Oh, maybe not. Not so much, it's really thick. But I thought that this would be cute, like a coat or something, kinda. Okay. Okay, let's see. It's a pretty light pink color. Pretty shade. Oh, sequin, hey. I've never made anything out of sequin fabric before. Never ever. Let's see. What else is here? Stripes close up because I did show them from a distance when I was on the other row over there. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll go back here and see what's back here. I feel like I've seen this before somewhere. Maybe Joanne's or something, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what's back here. Look at this. That's pretty. That's really pretty. on the floor I like this mint green color every time I see something mint green I like gravitate towards it Ooh. all right let's go to another room okay Leather, okay. Very interesting. Two dollars and fifty cent a square foot uncut. Huh. Just rolls and rolls of leather fabric. Look at this. Suede. Look at that. Wow. It smells like leather too. You can like smell the smell. That sounds crazy. Smell the smell. But yeah, it smells like leather. All different like shades and colors. very interesting I might not even buy anything it's just so much you know I don't have any patterns in mind that I want to make necessarily like you know so that I can know what to look for oh this is a pretty color I really like this color I think this whole two boxes are probably full of this leather or some leather scraps I guess pieces oh wow look it just goes on and on and on I don't think I'm gonna go down there let's see what else wow you guys have you all ever been here before if you live in the area or if you visited have you stopped by this place before? Can I get through? Let me see if I can get to the other side from here. I would like to buy something, but I don't know where to begin. It's just like so much. All right, I'm on my way downstairs. Let me take a quick peek. Okay, let's go down. What is this? Is this buttons? Oh, look, buttons. Buttons galore. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, these are like embellishments. Okay, so they're not really buttons. You could just kind of embellish. Oh, here's buttons. Okay, look at this. Bread. Oh, wow. Oh, 
this is pretty. There's some type of, I don't know what this is. Notions. So I'm back on the main floor where I came in. So now I just need to find the basement. So let's see if the basement is somewhere over here. Oh look, I think I found it. Okay, here's the stairs for the basement right here. I think, let's see. Oh yeah, downstairs, apparel. Oh, apparel lining. But let's go see. Let's go see. I'm so glad I wore some comfortable shoes. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this is lining fabric. Some of it is. Oh yeah, lining, okay. Lining, lining, okay, I really don't need any lining. Okay, all lining. Let's see what else is over here. Oh my goodness, look how long this, <laughs> this, this basement extends, wow. Is this more lining? I don't know what this stuff is, let's see. Looks like some type of knit. Oh yeah, that's like a line. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go back. This denim. Oh, this is denim. Now you guys know I love me some denim. I love denim. Wow, look at this. Denim for days and days on rolls. Rolls and rolls of denim. Looks like polyester fabric. Entering room number two. Wow, this is just never ending. All right, so I think you guys get the idea. I am going to shop around, and if I get anything, I will let you know what I get. To show you one more little section that I came across that I thought would be interesting. Look at these buckets and buckets of like beads and different things look at this these are beads different sizes different colors just all kind of beads oh look letters rhinestones and then if you come over here there's buckets of oh look this must be like ribbing like trim i guess letters Look at these. I guess you can make a belt.
and then on this side they have all these little I don't even know what these are called but little things like what these look like big hooks I guess I don't know and then look aren't these those rivets that you use to put on jeans like different colors you have gold ones different little things here and then they have a section in the back over here that is just full of zippers okay here's some more little hooks and stuff but then over here in the back some more stuff but then back here there's zippers galore maybe i can go this way oh i guess well maybe i can step over Look at all this stuff. I didn't even come back here the first time because I went the other way, but look, all kind of stuff. But I wanna show you the, oh look, I guess shoulder pads and stuff. And, oh wow, just tubs and tubs of stuff. Then over here, You have zippers, zippers for days. Look, Tw different inches, 24, 28, 22, different colors, excuse me. Just on and on and on. If you want anything sewing related, it seems like you will be able to find it here. Oh, that's like one of those hooks for a belt. Okay. Okay. So, I just picked up one thing. And it is something I showed in the very beginning. And it is this fabric right here. It's real heavy and the lady at the cutting counter said that it was upholstery slash what did she say drapes that you can use it for drapes and i was like mm, i think i want to make like a coat she said yeah yeah you can make a coat you can make a coat so i want to wash this and what's nice about it is it's it was doubled so instead of being 60 width it was 120. So that was nice and it was $9.95 a yard and I got three yards, which I think is enough for some type of coat. I really like the brown side where it's brown and turquoise and then you have more turquoise and brown. I like where the brown is the more dominant color, but I could see like making a garment, some type of coat or something and then maybe mixing it up like putting say like if you had a cuff or a collar one side could be like blue and then the rest could be brown or something you know like mixing things up a little bit now i don't want to have to match any stripes i really don't want to although i have plenty of fabric that if i decided to match the stripes it shouldn't be a problem so We'll see. I'm going to keep this fabric until I find a pattern that I want to use to make a coat. I don't have anything in mind right now. I don't have any coat patterns that come to mind, but I'm sure when I get a chance to purchase a coat fabric, I will have this fabric in mind or a coat pattern. I will have this fabric in mind. So that's that. That's all I got. And that store was amazing. So yes, I'm so happy to have the opportunity to come here. And if I come back to Chicago again, I wouldn't mind coming back here again. I think some people are waiting for me to leave this parking spot. So I will chat with you guys soon. So I am at my next stop and 
I have family in the area, so I could not come all this way and not visit my family. So I have a cousin who I love dearly, and she just had a baby recently. And I have not had the chance to meet my little baby cousin. It's a girl, her name is Brooklyn, and I want to meet her. I've been seeing pictures of her, she's adorable. So now I'm going to go meet her in person. My cousin is expecting me, she knows I am here. So we are going to see the baby and she's okay with that. She. I already talked with her and made sure she was okay with it and she was like sure sure so we're gonna go meet my little cousin together let's go <laughs> my auntie had <laughs> look at her oh my gosh <laughs> hey Brooklyn <laughs> hey mommy hi look at her you guys isn't she adorable hey mommy hi okay I gotta hold her oh, Guys, I want you to at least meet her, but she may be, look, there she is. She may be getting hungry right now, but at least you get to see my beautiful cousin. Look, oh, look y'all, she fell asleep. Look, oh my gosh. Oh, precious, precious. Oh, you guys, I love her. Look at her. So sweet. that I could just so that I can make sure you all can see me so I apologize if I'm too dark and then I decided to scoot this chair over in the corner so you can see me better so I just want to say that I had such a good time yesterday hanging out with family it was so nice seeing everybody after it's been like so long and the baby was so precious she was just so so sweet I just loved holding her and I had some good conversation with my family. We talked about food and cooking. We also talked about babies. <laughs> and then we spent time talking about love shares and we were talking about the love shares that we remembered and everything. So that was really, really cool. After that, I did visit a couple of my other aunts and they do this thing called um, diamond art, which I never heard of before they told me about it and it's really really cool so they take these little small beads and they stick them on this little like kind of like a template of, of 
a design. So it could be like a person's face or something. And it will tell you where you stick these beads and you stick the beads of different colors onto these little dots, kind of like these little numbers. And in the end, once you finish sticking all the beads on, you have this beautiful picture. And one of my aunts, she hung them over in her house and it was so, so pretty. It was just gorgeous. And she told me she could just sit there and do it for like hours. So I thought that was so cool. It's so nice when you learn about different hobbies and different things that are out there to keep you occupied. So I thought that was cool. They sell little kits on Amazon too. I had one of my cousins showing me all the little kits that are online. So it's really nice if, you know, just in case someone's looking for a hobby or wants to share that with someone else as something that they may wanna do. I have on a sewing make. This is a sweater that I actually made in May and it is a quick sew. Let me, I have it written here. It's quick sew 1456. It is an older, vintage pattern yes it is i remember the cover and i liked it because the collar on the envelope it shows that the collar was twisted and i was like huh that's interesting but it's actually just really long so it's not really twisted i guess you can you know flip it down and wear it like this i was gonna say i guess you can make it twisted but i don't really think you can and you can wear it up, which is nice because actually it's cold today. It was really warm yesterday, but it's chilly today. And I've already been out and I came back and I was like, okay, I'm so glad I wore this today and not, I didn't have it on yesterday, even though I anticipated that it was gonna be cold yesterday. So I'm glad I wore this today instead. But, um, the only thing I want to do today is I actually want to mail that fabric that I purchased. I want to mail it to myself so I don't have to worry about carrying it on the plane. And then I looked and Hobby Lobby is actually having a sale on McCall's patterns. So I want to look through the patterns a little more closely. I've looked through the McCall's fall patterns already, like I feel like a hundred times. But now that I have a coat in mind, I'll probably look at it with a different lens. So I just want to go in there and spend some time thumbing through the book and see if something jumps out at me for a coat with the fabric that I purchased yesterday, which I love. And oh, I may visit with a friend. Now the restaurants here are not, a lot of them in Illinois are not allowing dine-in. So you can order carry out. So I talked to one of my friends and we talked about maybe we would order pick up some carry out and take it to her house and just sit and chat and eat. And I was like, that would be cool. I haven't done that in a while. So that'll be nice. But yeah, so I want to stand up and show you this sewing make so you can see it a little closer. Thank God these hotels have full length mirrors. Oh, it's dark. I hope you can see it. Okay, so this is my sweater and i like that you know what let me go over here because i don't know if you can actually see it. is this better i hope it's better but i like that the sweater it stops kind of high from joanne fabrics it was on clearance they had this in blue and also this green i don't know if they had any other colors and yeah i love the way the collar is which I realize if you have any sweaters or any tops with collars like this and you want them long, you just extend it. You know, you can just take the pattern and just extend the collar and then it will be nice and long like this. I like this. This will keep me good and warm. If I go somewhere today, well, I will go somewhere today. So it'll keep me nice and warm. Then I have my scarf too. So I will be okay. <laughs> so I hope you can see this sweater. If not, I will get some pictures and share it. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. So my love share today is an app that I have been using that I learned about recently. And it is Google, I wanna say, oh, ne no, it's not Google Nest. Google, what is it? K 
Keep, Google Keep, K-E-E-P. I love this app because I like to make lists. Like I have a grocery list. I have a list of patterns that I wanna purchase. I have a lot of lists in my phone. But what I love about this app is that it will allow you to create lists in your phone. It works offline, so you don't have to be um, online in order to use it, which is really cool. And it syncs with your other devices. So if you download the, the app on an iPad or a tablet and then you put it on your phone, when you update one, it will automatically update the other one, which is so nice. I, one thing I like too is that you can color code your lists so you can have like more than one list and each one will have like a different color. Now they have little boxes on the side of your items on your list where you can check off and then it will actually draw a line through the list. If you want that feature, you could turn that feature off if you don't want to, but you can have it draw a line through it and then it will move the item down to the bottom or you can draw a line through it and then I, I think it will draw a line through it and just totally delete it if you don't want it to go down to the bottom so that's pretty cool another thing is you can speak and I tried this I was in the kitchen and you can speak into the app in order to get your items on the list so you can say eggs cheese bacon whatever you want and you can just type it it'll come out in words and then you can put that in your list it also has a feature where you can draw in there if you want to doodle with your finger. You can share your list with someone else if they have the app. But yeah, those are just some of the features. There's plenty more inside of the app, but it is just super cool, especially if you like to keep lists. So I wanted to share that with you because I am loving it.